Hi kids, Kirk Walls, Tide-Eyed Skies. We are getting ready to irrigate uh, one of our folded shirts. This is the artillery shell right there. Um, we folded it earlier. I believe I've got another YouTube video out there. Um, something about uh, the irrigation technique. Um, you have to have crock pot. Uh, you have to have a source to pump the water out of the crock pot. This happens to be a peristaltic pump. You don't need one of those. You can actually get some uh, syringes and use syringes to transfer the water to the shirt. Uh, I happened to invest in this pump. It's a lot faster, not as messy, um, but it's pretty expensive. Anyway, uh, we're going to get started. Uh, the point of the irrigation technique is uh, you can dye the shirt, rinse it out immediately, throw it in the washer, toss it in the dryer, and have a shirt done in two hours. Uh, completely done. No batching, no waiting. Um, it's immediate. Immediate results. Uh, the color fastness is also very long lasting. Some people will balk. Um, let them balk. Uh, I'll promise you using this technique you'll have long lasting colored tie-dyed t-shirts. Uh, the mixture in the crock pot is a half cup of soda ash to one gallon of tap water. Um, I did not pre-soak this shirt um, in soda ash beforehand. I just got it wet to make it easier to fold. This is still damp. Um, anyway, uh, the crock pot, 140 degrees or so. Um, as close to as you can get it. Um, the pump is the peristaltic pump. It's um, meant to pump water through it without actually having water go through the machine, through the equipment, damaging seals and that type of thing. With the uh, alkalinity of the soda ash water, um, it would damage any normal pump. Anyway, let's get started. Uh, this is going to be a firework. Um, artillery shell explosion like you see on 4th of July the big boom bomb burst uh, we are going to start out with some yellows and I'm going to pick a clear yellow um, these ratios uh, for my dyes I actually mix um, powdered dye with soda ash um, if it says two to one that's two parts soda ash to one part dye um, I've got my blues are, and purples are three to one mostly. Um, that's three tablespoons or three parts soda ash to one part dye. Anyway, it uh, makes your dye go a lot faster and it helps introduce uh, more soda ash into the shirt. And that's the whole point of the soda ash. The heated water, heated soda ash water. Um, you should also wear a mask. Um, wouldn't hurt to wear goggles. Um, right now, I'm not going to wear any because I want to talk to you. Um, if you see how these bands go across, we're going to put different colors in each one of those bands. Um, I'm going to start off down here, not quite at the tip, and put yellow on. This is a clear yellow. It's uh, more on the orangey side, but not orange it's certainly still yellow it's a strong yellow I also do have this rack elevated somewhat um, because I want the colors um, to run down the back if you were doing a flat piece and you didn't want the colors to run uh, if you just laid it out flat it would be fine but because we have such a high point here this is about an inch thick down here it's about a half inch thick if we laid this out flat, all the colors would run down here and ruin the yellows that we're putting in there. That's why it's elevated as it is. Now we're going to go to a soft orange. Uh, a lot of these colors are from Pro Chemical. I've got a few colors from Custom Colors. There's also Dharma out there and uh, Grateful Dyes, um, several others. I just happen to go with Pro Chemical, then I 
discovered custom colors and custom colors has free shipping anything over $35. Send some business to him, would you? Just don't take my business. Um, it depends on what effect you want to get as far as the colors you're putting on. Um, I want it to look like a firework exploding, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to go for some strong orange. This is a very brilliant orange. reason you should wear a soda mask because it's a uh, respiratory bother your respiratory it's not like carcinogenic or anything I'm gonna set my colors up here that you can see I like to see what I've used um, sometimes I'll do a shirt with uh, 28 colors it's a whole lot of color uh, now we're gonna switch to a red what color red? I've got seven kinds of red. Let's go with a mixing red. Kind of a more on the purpley side of the red, but still definitely red. be amazed at what you can do with this uh, technique, this procedure. Um, again, you'll be able to rinse this out immediately after dyeing it. Immediately. Can anybody else say that? Immediately. What am I going to go with? I think I'm going to go with an amethyst. This is a purple a nice reddish purple, very rich color. What do you think? Should we move to a medium purple or a deep purple? Let's go for the lilac. It's a purple. Grapple color. Start alternating these a little bit, leaving. I don't know if you can see there's some little dips in there. I'm going to do that on purpose. I'm going to skip to the intentional violet. Just gonna go right on over that rubber band in a couple of spots. Blue violet. Seems like I'm really dumping the color on here, but just remember these particular colors I'm using right here that's three parts soda ash in there. Hurts. I'm 
we're going to go to a deep navy now. This is almost blackish blue. Don't worry, folks. We're going to add some brighter colors. my chair up I can hardly see over that raised up piece all right I'm going to start wetting this with my pump you see the water coming out of there see that dripping Let some of the uh, water run through this tubing coming from the pump so I get the hot water. I'm going to start down here on the yellow because I'm okay with it uh, flowing down the uh, underside of the shirt as we get it wet. And that dye soaks all the way through the cotton or whatever natural fiber you have for this particular type of dye. This is fiber reactive cotton, or fiber reactive dye, cotton fiber. Looks like we can probably elevate this a little more. I'm not gonna worry about it at this point. Everybody's having a good day out there. Had a good day. We're going to have a good day. Depends on what time of day you're watching this. Night. I'm in the night out myself. I do some of my best dying at uh, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. Got a little tool here that I like to show everybody. This is a uh, blackhead remover, um, but I like it to pry open these folds and get that dye on down in there. Because I have it elevated unevenly, you gotta be careful so it doesn't end up in my lap. At this point, you should uh, be wearing some type of safety eyewear at the very least, um, safety glasses, so this doesn't flip back up when you're uh, manipulating these folds and get hit in the eye with some dye or hot soda ash water. Just opening these folds up so I'm getting some of that dye down in there. This uh, orange here, this strong orange, is really strong, but I like it. It really uh, pops, it really makes the shirt pop. I work my way into this red now. It's mixing red that's a little on the purpley side finished red color it goes into that amethyst could use contrasting colors all the way up. 
Um, once you get to this point, uh, you can put whatever colors you like. You could start off with the center point down here. You could start off with the dark and move back towards lighter colors. Um, each one will give a different effect as far as how it plays with the eye, where the eye goes, what draws the eye. And where these rubber bands are, the folds right there are a little tighter. Um, if you're using sinew, it will be even tighter than that. I don't like these too tight so I can get so I can pry the folds open. However, sometimes you want the effect of leaving some of that white space in there perhaps. I do once in a while. I'm just pulling back on these folds enough that it's letting some of that dye get on down into uh, that rubber banded area. And when we flip this over and do the other side, we'll add a little bit more color to the other side when we finish this side. Um, but uh, right before we take it to the sink to rinse it out, there's another little special trick I like to do. And I'll show you that as long as my video holds up. 16 minutes. We're going to have to make this a three-parter, which would be fine because there's the uh, folding part that I could name part one. I'm not there yet. I haven't uploaded it yet. I just folded it. Intense violets? I don't even know if I know a violet. I know a few people, but I don't think I know a violet. Um, speaking of peristaltic pumps, the pump I'm using, um, one uh, buddy on uh, Facebook after learning this process, he modified a dental pink, a uh, dental pick, you know, for uh, rinsing your gums and everything out at night or in the morning or two, three times a day. Um, he modified it to uh, take on the water and uh, has been very successful at it. The first sh shirt he did using this process. He copied one of my uh, designs, and it was cool. wasn't horrible, but there were some things to learn. Uh, within an hour, he had folded and uh, dyed and rinsed a second one, and the second one was top shelf material, top shelf tie dye. Uh, he did a third one in 45 minutes, and it was even better than the second one. Uh, the guy just couldn't believe it and uh, his orders for his shirts and his prices because they're so spectacular um, jumped overnight literally hats off to you Thomas good job good deal I'm interested to see what other people do with this process um, I've not tried I personally have not tried to do a tapestry of any kind, but certainly not a tapestry using this method. I'd like to see uh, somebody do one, get back to me. Uh, the tapestries have a lot tighter folds. I'll turn the water up on this a little bit. 
speed this process up some. Anyway, uh, I hope this opens up a whole new world for a lot of people. Um, even people that you've hardly ever tie-dyed. Tie -dyed. As I mentioned before, I've only been doing it for a very short time. Uh, a little over 16 months. Uh, this was developed uh, last May. Early May, and we've been going with this process ever since. Thought about keeping it a secret just for competitor reasons, but the more I thought about it, I'm like, I can't hold on to this information. I've got to share it. Um, so I decided I would share it, share it on YouTube most uh, bang for your buck so to speak and hit the most people anyhow it's been quite a fun and uh, rewarding I was a pencil artist for a lot of years and I was never rewarded the same way I am with these tie dyes people tell me things like uh, I don't like to wear tie-dye, never like tie-dye, yours are different. I've had people from all races, all backgrounds, all education levels. It's been pretty crazy, pretty incredible. The good thing is we're just having fun. Some kid gets inspired out there. Some kid comes up with something and just blows us all away. Some young kid. I don't care. It could be a 90 year old. I don't care. Or just seeing uh, somebody take this in a whole different direction. What time are we looking at? 23 minutes. We're probably going to cut this and I'll do the rest of this in a separate video. So I'll finish up what I'm doing here. Crank this water up some more. some pretty colors just like that aren't they and if you can see some of that yellow is working its way down to that white and that's perfectly fine I didn't want to put yellow all the way out there on the end but if it's working its way down there that's fine Okay, I think we've waited this out about enough. So I'm going to stop here and we'll come back with another part to finishing uh, the back. Back is in this side, um, not the flip side. Alright, well, we're going to stop the video here and we'll be back in a little bit. Alright, see you folks.